Beginning with version 5.5, when you upgrade or purchase your Sage Backpack ERP system, you'll receive what's known as the Extended Enterprise Suite. Importantly, this suite includes Sage CRM along with an AR Collections Manager component. In this tutorial, we'll show how your accounting department can use the AR Collections Manager to proactively shorten your AR time and have more cash available for your business. So let's jump right in and take a look. You'll find the Collections Manager in My CRM under the Collections tab. To demonstrate how it works, let's walk through a scenario that might be typical for a Collections Clerk. We'll start by setting our aging parameters and based on the transactions in our sample data, we'll enter February 28, 2010 as our age as of date and for cutoff by we'll use the document date, and for the cutoff date, let's again use February 28th. You can change the aging periods, but we'll go with the defaults. And now by clicking the Synchronize button, Receivables information is updated from your integrated Sage Backpack accounting system, and the time this takes will depend on the size of your database. Once it's finished, you'll see the last synchronization date and you'll want to rerun the synchronization as necessary to stay current. Also, notice that the amount due is summarized for each aging period. So let's begin our collection call starting with customers who are over 90 days and the quickest way to see these customers is to filter the list by clicking the over 90 portion of the receivables pipeline. And now we can see that there are six invoices, actually there are five invoices and one payment since all transactions are included, and the over 90 day invoices total just over $4,363. In preparation for our first call, let's prioritize the highest balances. To do this, we'll click on the sort button and select the field we want to sort by from the list on the right and we'll choose Invoice Amount Due and select Descending for the sort direction and we'll add this to the sort order on the left. If you later need to disable sorting, click the Disable arrow, but we obviously want it enabled, so we'll continue and click Save. And you can see that our list resorts from highest to lowest amount due. Before we pick up the phone to make our first collection call, Let's examine the information that's presented in the grid. In the column headers, you'll find a legend for the information contained in the grid. Importantly, you can see the customer and AR contact, the contact's phone number and an email link, the invoice number along with important dates associated with the invoice, and the amount due and days past due. If you need to see more information, you can click on the invoice link to see the document details, and by clicking the document number link, you can even drill into the actual invoice if necessary. Let's go ahead and close the invoice and hit the back button to return to the collections manager. Probably the most important information on this screen is the last call note that allows you to see what your overdue customer promised in your last conversation. And here you can see that on the last call, Mr. Kershaw promised that a check would be in the mail that Friday. So now that we've reviewed the invoice details and previous notes, we're well prepared to call this account. Let's assume that we've completed the call and now we'll enter a call note documenting that our customer has agreed to get a check cut and in the mail today. When we click the Add Note button, notice that the last call note has been updated. Also, behind the scenes a new phone note has been added under Mr. Kershaw's communications history. And now let's schedule a follow-up phone call several days from now to remind us to once again contact Mr. Kershaw if we haven't received the payment. To be consistent with our sample data, let's schedule this call for March 4, 2010 at 11 a.m. and click the Add button. And notice that we've been notified that the task has been successfully scheduled. And if we jump over to our calendar, you can see that the follow-up call has been added to our task list. So to recap, your accounting department can use the Sage CRM AR Collections Manager to proactively shorten your AR time and have more cash available for your business.
Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage CRM system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.